What's up YouTube? I hope each and every one of you guys are healthy and enjoying life today. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the 2024 Subaru Outback Onyx Edition XT. Huge thank you to Josh Brown over at Stolman Subaru of Sterling, Virginia for allowing me to do this video for you guys today. If you are interested in this particular Outback or any Subaru product, then I'll be sure to have Josh's information on screen as well as in the description box down below. But with that said, let's get into the video. Today we have the perfect conditions to film a couple review videos and I am very happy about that. So just like usual, first I'm going to talk about the exterior and the performance. So like I said, this is a 2024 Subaru Outback Onyx Edition XT. And this particular one has been painted in cosmic blue pearl, which if you see this color in person, it's kind of like a half purple, half blue color. I'm a fan of it, you may not be. But then also, the Outback remains unchanged for the 2024 model year, other than a couple tweaks to the wilderness. But this one being the Onyx Edition XT, as standard, you get LED steering responsive headlights with high beam assist, as well as LED daytime running lights, standard turn signals, and LED fog lights. But taking a step to the left, this is what the front end of the Onyx Edition XT looks like. So, you do get a satin black grill with your Subaru logo located at the center of it. And then to the left and to the right of your Subaru logo, you get some gray grill bars. And then beneath your Subaru logo with the Onyx Edition XT, you get a front 180 degree view camera system. And that is what that camera works with. And then zooming out just a little bit, you get a satin black lower fascia, which is all of this area down here. And then you also get some satin black cladding that flares in just below your headlights. And then last but not least, I did want to mention that you get 8.7 inches of ground clearance with the Onyx Edition XT. And then coming on down the side again, you get that satin black lower fascia and that satin black lower fascia leads into your satin black wheel arch moldings. And then these are the wheels that you get with this trim level and they are 18 inch gray painted wheels wrapped in 225 60 Yokohama Avid GT all season tires. I'll give you a view of the tread pattern on these tires here real quick. And then one thing that's kind of interesting is that on the window sticker, Subaru calls these the black finished wheels, but if you see them in person, they're gray painted. And then coming up just a little bit also uh, with this vehicle, you do get the windshield wiper de-icer. So where the wipers park, I'm not sure if it's going to pick up on camera. But anyways, that little strip right there for both wipers is heated. So you're not going to get ice buildup if you live in a colder climate, uh, which is definitely very nice when trying to wipe your windshield. You know, it actually is very useful. And then working my way into these side view mirrors. So with the Onyx Edition XT, you get gloss black mirror caps with integrated turn signals. And as standard, these side view mirrors are heated, manual folding, and you will find your blind spot monitoring on the inside of your driver's side mirror and then also on the inside of your passenger side mirror. This one has also been optioned with the $298 exterior auto dimming mirrors with the approach light. So both mirrors will auto dim at night if somebody comes up behind you with their high beams on. And then you also get the approach light and the approach light is essentially like a puddle light that will illuminate this area at night. And then taking a step back, here's a little side profile shot of the Outback. I know people hate, I've called this an SUV in the past. It is technically a wagon, but I'd say it's like a mix of an SUV and a wagon. You get the wagon feel like in this area. But anyways, with the Onyx Edition XT, you get the satin black raised roof rails with the retractable crossbars. So there are crossbars up here that you can swing this way, swing this way, and then you get the crossbars in the front and in the back, and it is very useful uh, and very nice. You don't have to, I don't think, um, unscrew anything. They kind of just pop out, which is very nice. You can see you can pop that piece up. That one will slide backwards, and then this one will go like this. Very cool little feature there. And then closing that back up, you get that satin black window trim as well as body color door handles with keyless access. Just keep in mind though, the keyless access function only works on your front two door handles. The rear two door handles do not get the keyless access function. And then at the bottom of all of your passenger doors, you get the satin black door cladding with the silver Outback lettering uh, inside of the cladding on your rear two doors. Let me give you a rear three quarter shot of the Onyx Edition XT. There you go. 
And then starting up here, you have your satin black shark fin antenna. You get a gloss black roof spoiler, so I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to pick up the two color differences. This is the cosmic blue pearl. This is gloss black with the Onyx Edition XT. And then you also get your third brake light located up top here. You get a rear window defroster. You have your rear wiper back here, single speed rear wiper. And then you get the standard tail lights and taking a step to the right, here's a little booty shot of the Outback. So you can see you have your Subaru logo located at the center. This one does have a hands-free power lift gate. So all you would have to do is do what I just did is basically put your fingers or hand in the proximity of your Subaru logo. And that is how you open up the hands-free lift gate. With the Onyx Edition XT, you get satin black badging back here for all of these badges. I'll give you a closer view of that. Obviously you do get a backup camera. And again, you do get the hands-free power lift gate. If you didn't want to use the hands-free function, all you would have to do is put your hand underneath here. You'll feel a little pad and the lift gate will open up. And that is the speed in which the lift gate opens up. And then I'm gonna throw the price of all the accessories on screen right now, but essentially back here, this one's been optioned with the all weather floor liners, the cargo tray, and then you get the um, rear seat back protectors. So basically like a floor mat for the backs of your seat. So if you got a wet dog and your dog likes to rub up against that when he or she is wet, it's gonna be, or your dog's gonna be rubbing up against the rubber floor mats on the back of the seat rather than the cloth on the seat back. So that is a very worthwhile feature if you do have a dog. And then you also get this cargo cover right here that let's say you live in a sketchy or not live in a sketchy area. You go to a sketchy area, we leave your car at the airport. Basically you can pull this out and when your trunk is closed, people can't see the contents that you have in your trunk, which is very nice. And then you can see the door handle looking thing here and here, and that is how you would drop your second row seat. So if you pull on that, the second row seats drop, and then you get an additional about four feet of storage space with those seats down versus when that seat is up you can see you probably still get about you know three and a half four feet of storage space so very good amount of storage space here and then also this right here you get a grocery bag hook you get another grocery bag hook on this side with the onyx edition xt you get the harman kardon sound system which sounds way better than the sound system that you would get um, as the standard subaru sound system and then you get a storage cubby on the passenger side of the trunk with a little cargo net you also get a 12 volt power outlet on the passenger side of the trunk and with the onyx edition xt you get a full size spare tire you also see you can see your jack your tow hook and all the necessities to either be pulled out of a snowbank or replace your tire. And then pressing on that button is going to close the power lift gate. And then the button to the left of that is going to lock the vehicle. And then with the Onyx Edition XT, you also get an LED light back here. This is kind of like your floodlight for this area. So pressing on that button, the power lift gate will begin to close. And there is one more option here, uh, as you may be able to tell. See this piece right here? That is your rear bumper protector, and that is a $168 option. Speaking of that rear bumper, you get a satin black rear bumper with four integrated parking sensors. You also get two reflectors, one on each end of the bumper. You get a 411 rear axle ratio with the onyx edition xt as well as a 3500 pound max tow capacity so when you upgrade to the xt you get an additional about i think it's like 500 or 750 pounds additional tow capacity with the bigger next not technically the bigger engine it's the smaller engine but it is the turbo motor and then that is what is behind your fuel door regular fuel 87 octane will do you just fine even here with the turbo motor and that kind of about does it for the exterior of this outback this is one of my favorite trim levels because it's not crazy expensive it gives you some gloss black accents with the mirror caps and the roof spoiler i think it looks pretty good and you get the bigger engine but with that stuff out of the way let's move into performance Popping open that hood reveals the 2.4 liter turbo boxer four cylinder that makes 260 horsepower and 277 pound feet of torque. It is mated to a linear Tronic CVT for a zero to 60 time in six seconds. 
And if you were wondering about fuel economy, you can achieve 22 miles per gallon in the city, 29 miles per gallon on the highway for 25 miles per gallon combined with all wheel drive. I did want to mention that you can get the Onyx Edition without the XT engine. So you're basically gonna get the two and a half liter boxer four cylinder without the turbo. That makes about 80 horsepower less. So if you're looking for a little bit better fuel economy, less power, cause you don't really care and you wanna save a little bit of money, you might wanna look into the Onyx Edition the 703 speed recommendation obviously is the Onyx Edition XT. It's got the perfect amount of power and it's pretty decently fun to drive as well. But if you're enjoying the video so far today, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. I'm on my journey to 100,000 subscribers and I cannot reach my goal without your support. So if you're enjoying the video, if you've learned anything from the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Those things look very good for my channel in the YouTube algorithm. That gets me one step closer to my dreams. But with that stuff out of the way, let's move into the interior. Moving on into the interior, as mentioned earlier in the video, you do get keyless access. So all you have to do is have your key fob in your pocket, walk up to the vehicle, put your hand behind the door handle and it will unlock. You can also lock it by running your finger across these two little lines right here. And now it is locked back up. This is what the key fob looks like. It's mostly satin black, but you do get some silver accenting and then going over the functions on the key fob, starting from the top, you have your lock function, the Subaru logo is your unlock function. Then you have your power lift gate function and your panic function. But pressing the unlock button, let's see what the interior of the Onyx Edition XT has to offer. So the gray StarTax with green stitching upholstery is the only color you can get with the Onyx Edition XT. Uh, but I'll get into that stuff here in a second. We're gonna start with the door panel. So taking a look at the door panel, you get some vinyl wrapping up top here, and then you get that dark gray StarTex here, the light gray StarTex here, and you get some green accent colored stitching up top there. Then you get some black trim going over the functions. This is for your power side view mirror controls. Then you have your unlock and your lock functions. You get automatic up and down windows at all four corners. This button is going to restrict your passenger window privileges. This is also a great spot you could set your phone. So I have an iPhone 14 Pro Max and it will fit down in there no problem. Then the armrest is nicely padded. You get some gray accent colored stitching, a little bit of miscellaneous storage space, a spot you could set a water bottle. And with the Onyx Edition XT, you get the Harman Kardon premium sound system. Also as standard with this thing, you get a 10-way power driver seat with power lumbar. Then you get an eight-way power passenger seat with no lumbar. Uh, you also get heated front seats and a heated steering wheel as standard. But let's step on into this thing. Take a listen to what it sounds like when the door closes. Now let's fire it up, take a listen. And that is what it looks and sounds like when you fire this thing up from the driver's perspective. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm basically gonna walk you throughout the entire interior and all the controls along with that. So basically starting down here, that button is to open and or close your power lift gate. This scroll knob is to brighten and or dim your gauge cluster as well as your backlit buttons. And then this button right here is to turn the hands-free lift gate on or off. Coming down here, if you flip this down, that gives you access into your manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. So basically you can bring the steering wheel towards you. You can push the steering wheel away from you and it also moves up and down. And then once you find your comfortable position, just lock it right back into position. But now let's take a listen to the turn signal. That is what the turn signal sounds like. And not only is this your turn signal control stock, this is also your headlight control stock and your fog light control stock. So all the way down is headlights off. That is headlights automatic, that is parking lights on, and then all the way up is headlights in the always on position. And then that is fog lights off, that is fog lights on, but right now we are in fog lights on and headlights in the automatic position, but the fog lights are not actually on. If you wanted the fog lights to be on, you have to turn the headlights into the always on position in order for the fog lights to be on. But let's say I have the headlights in the automatic position and it is dark out and the headlights are actually on and the fog lights are in the on position, then the fog lights would actually be on. But the fog lights are following the automatic headlight position. So when the headlights are off, the fog lights are off. When the headlights are on, the fog lights are on, if that makes sense. And then zoom in back out, you get a leather wrapped steering wheel with some green accent colored stitching on the inside of the steering wheel. And just like any other vehicle, you have your horn at the center. So let's take a listen to it. 
That is what the horn sounds like on the Outback. And then also with the Onyx Edition XT, you get the steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. You get the upshift on the right, downshift on the left, and then going over the steering wheel controls starting on the left-hand side. That is to go backwards on a track, that is to go forwards on a track, and then that source button is gonna switch you between all of your different audio sources, AM, FM, XM, Bluetooth audio, etc. And then you can see this up in the down arrow, that is to control your 4.2 inch productivity screen located at the center of your gauge cluster, which I'll get into here in a second. But that is to pick up on a phone call, that is to mute the audio system as well as hang up on a phone call. And then that button right there is to speak to the vehicle. You can tell it to you know, set the HVAC set to 68 degrees or something like that. That is what I mean by speak to the vehicle. Then you have your volume controls all the way at the bottom. Also, all the way at the bottom, you have your heated steering wheel control, but on the right-hand side of the steering wheel. And then, obviously, this being a Subaru, you do get the EyeSight suite of features, but on this side, this is for your adaptive cruise control stuff. Um, so, you do get adaptive cruise control as standard, and this is basically your gap adjust right here. And that is that. Obviously, you also have your windshield wiper control stock, but moving on into our gauge cluster. On the left-hand side, you have your tachometer and your coolant temperature gauge. And then on the right-hand side, you have your speedometer and your fuel gauge. Now at the center, again, this is a 4.2 inch productivity screen. And at the top of the screen, you have your instant fuel economy stuff. So let's say we're coasting down a hill. This is going to come over to this side where the plus sign is, basically letting me know that I'm getting good fuel economy. Right now, well, we're basically getting like zero miles per gallon because we're not moving, so it thinks we're getting bad fuel economy. And then this is your tire pressure monitoring system. You do have to be driving in order to get the readouts for that system. And then that is the digital speedometer readout. Then you get your trip A information. The 15 flat miles is your odometer. Then that is your transmission status stuff, and that's for the auto stop start system. Now again, to control what we see here, you have these arrows. So I'm just gonna click down. You can see the audio information right now, no audio is playing. I'm clicking down, now I got my uh, date and time. Then I have my average fuel economy stuff for trip A and my fuel range. Then I have my, I think that is like your instant fuel economy, I'm not 100% sure, and your fuel range. And then coming down one more, some more analytical data stuff. This is for your auto stop start system, You know how long the auto stop start system has turned the vehicle off for and how much fuel the auto stop start system has saved. And that is back to our original screen. So moving on to this screen, this is your 11.6 inch Starlink infotainment system with wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android auto connectivity. I'm gonna start with the physical controls first. So up top here, you have your hazard button. Then you have your volume control knob. If you press and hold on the volume control knob, the infotainment system is going to turn off. However, I'm gonna press and hold on that again and it is going to cancel that system. And then I can also just press on that and that is going to mute the audio system. Then I got my front defroster button there, temperature controls for the driver, temperature controls for the passenger. This is to turn your rear window defroster on. Then you have your tuning control. If I press and hold on the tuning control, it's gonna bring me into my sound settings. So you can see your bass, your mid, your treble, and then you can also go into your balance and your fader back out of that up top here it's going to let you know if the passenger airbag is on or off then moving into the screen you get your ambient exterior temperature on the upper left hand side of the screen at the center of the screen at the top you have your time this vehicle or excuse me the onyx edition xt gets the dual x mode so you get your snow slash dirt mode and your deep snow slash mud mode it's basically for the traction control system to know what kind of you know terrain it is in for lack of a better word and then we also have our normal mode clicking to the left it's going to change what you see up top there so basically that is the weather stuff then you can see your water temperature oil temperature and your average speed for trip a and then also your audio readout is up top there letting you know what current tunes you're listening to and then this is the home screen you can see you get your radio media stuff all of the stuff you can read on screen right now if i click on apple carplay it is going to pop up the apple carplay stuff this is your home button so this uh, basically brings you back to your home screen and then you can go into your car info stuff. You can see your driving statistics, pitch and roll stuff, and your different maintenance items. And then swiping over to here, you can turn the display off by pressing on that. You get your traction control button there, obviously valet mode. And then auto vehicle hold is a system in which you turn that button on, or you can turn it on right there as well. The vehicle will basically hold you in place by itself with its braking system if you're in heavy traffic. And if you wanted to release it, all you would have to do is push your foot on the gas and the vehicle will start moving again. 
anyways, coming down here, then this is gonna bring you into your vehicle stuff. So you can see all of those X mode stuff and all of these different things. You get your driver assistance stuff here and your more settings. So that's basically like your vehicle control stuff. That is your auto vehicle hold instant button. That is to turn the auto stop start system on or off. This is gonna bring me into my phone list. It's gonna show me my phone on the screen. And then you can also see your different driver profiles by clicking on that thing that looks like a user. But click on the home button back into my home screen and then down here as mentioned with the onyx edition xt you get heated front seats with three levels of adjustability and then this is your climate control screen so no matter which screen you are in you're always going to have the climate control system at the bottom of the screen so clicking on that is going to bring the climate control screen throughout the entire screen it is timed so you'll see here in a minute the screen is going to pop away uh, but anyways that is how you can control your climate control stuff and then that's kind of about it for that screen coming down just a little bit more you get an electronic parking brake you pull up on that the parking brake is engaged and it lets you know with that little red light there if you wanted to disengage it you push your foot on the brake push against that parking brake will release and then over here you get a USB a port a USB C port and an auxiliary jack this one is does not have this option but I figured I may throw it out there for those interested uh, you could look into getting the $347 wireless charging pad and this is where the wireless charging pad would be whereas otherwise here it's basically a little bit of storage base you can see I can fit my hand down in there so you can fit what you need to this button is going to pop up my front 180 degree view monitor so that is what that looks like if I press that button again it is going to go back away and then as mentioned you get the steering wheel mounted paddle shifters and if you wanted to control the transmission you go into drive flip this over to the left and now you can control the transmission with the steering wheel mounted paddle shifters come down a little bit more you get two cup holders you get a nicely padded armrest and if you open the armrest up you have a upper layer basically in here you get set business cards or anything you know less than an inch thick and if i press the button on the right that gives you access into the entire uh, console down in here but i'd say you know you probably get about you know five inches of depth over there uh, you get a 12 volt power outlet down in there so just be mindful of what you set in here so i'd say that's about you know nine inches by five inches deep so you know just be mindful of what you're going to set down in there because you could lose space rather quickly and then coming over to here you get a spot above the glove box where you could set your phone or something like that right now i have the uh, screen protector and then coming down you get a lockable lower glove box with a decent amount of storage space right now your owner's manual is in there you get a little bit of storage space over here you could set your napkins your utensils your snacks etc whatever you set in your glove box um anyway let me know what you set in your glove box other than your owner's manual down below but i'm gonna close that and then this as standard with the onyx edition xt you get an auto dimming rear view mirror with your compass and your home link so uh, this is your universal garage door opener if you have three garage bays you can open up those garage bays individually and then you have a spot you could set your sunglasses up top here this is your subaru starling stuff basically your roadside assistance buttons um, and then this if you flip it to the left when you open up the doors the interior lights will turn on if you flip it to the right where it says off when you open up the doors the interior lights will not turn on and then this vehicle has been optioned with the 107 dollar led interior light upgrade so all of your lights on the interior are led and then as standard with the onyx edition xt you get a power sunroof that slides and tilts but coming back over to here again the vanity mirrors are also led you get a vanity mirror two vanity lights and then the visor itself slides forwards and backwards for when the sun is in those awkward positions and then you also get a little clip right here and on this one as well where you could set any small little paper product the driver gets an no poop handle the front passenger also gets an no poop handle and then going over these front seats i'd say these seats are actually pretty comfortable um, i could definitely do a long road trip in these seats and if you're a bigger person i still think you'd be very comfortable uh, in these front seats and then one thing also about these front seats is that take a look at this these adjust forwards and backwards with like one two three four 
five levels of adjustability. So basically you could set your head there and basically it's keeping your head at the perfect position so you don't have to use your neck muscles to keep your head in the right spot. So I think that is a very nice thing. I love adjustable headrests like that. But now I'm gonna throw the entire window sticker on screen. You can take a look at the couple options that this vehicle has, everything that you get as standard, fuel economy stuff, warranty stuff. But I am just going to highlight the MSRP. So the MSRP of the way that this particular 2024 Subaru Outback Onyx Edition XT is spec is $41,574. I also want to show you on screen right now what you get with the Subaru EyeSight suite of features because you get that as standard, basically adaptive cruise control, lane centering stuff, and everything else you can read on screen. But I do want to show you what we got going on here in these rear seats. One thing that is nice about the Onyx Edition XT is that you do get heated rear seats, but I'll show you that in a second. Again, automatic up and down windows here in the rear and the windows go all the way down. Again, automatic up as well. Same stuff, you get the dark gray, the green accent colored stitching, the light gray, the gray accent colored stitching, a spot you could set your phone, your mirror, uh, window control, a little bit of miscellaneous storage base, a spot you could set a water bottle and a speaker. This is what your second row seats look like. I am going to fold them up. This is what the second row seats look like. I like the kind of light gray, dark gray two-tone with the green accent colored stitching. Now stepping on into these rear seats, up top here, you get an Opu panel and a spot you get at your dry cleaning. You also get three seat back pockets. So one, two, three, you get the same thing behind the passenger seat. You also get two HVAC vents. As mentioned, you get heated outboard second row seats with two levels of adjustability. Then as, connect, as for connectivity, you get a USB-A port and a USB-C port. You get the same stuff on that side. You get an LED dome light back here. I'm gonna set that to door. And then you get a center fold down armrest with two cup holders and the armrest is also nicely padded. And when it comes to headroom, I am five foot nine. I've got quite a bit of headroom. I would say I probably have, shoot, four inches left over of headroom. And then when it comes to leg and knee room, I am adjusted behind myself, quite a bit of knee and leg room as well. And then if you pull up on this thing right here, you can actually recline these second row seats. So you can see I'm reclining them. I'd say you get quite a bit of reclinability and that just makes you that much more comfortable. But really that's kind of about it for what we got going on here with the Onyx Edition XT. So, you know, we've talked about the exterior, we talked about the performance, and now we've talked about what's going on here in the interior. So I wanna see what this thing's like to drive as I'm assuming you guys do as well. So I'll see you guys in the driver's seat all right now on to the driving portion of the video where i always start my videos here we go over these speed bumps at five miles an hour make sure i get down to five and we rate them on a scale of one to ten nothing will ever be a ten because perfection does not exist in this world did very well over that first speed bump let's see how it does here over the second one these speed bumps are legit if you hit them too fast it's not comfortable okay that's about five and I'm gonna give this thing an 8.1 on a scale of one to 10. It did very well over those speed bumps. And when it comes to handling, there is a little bit of body roll. However, that is to be expected. I still think this thing would be pretty comfortable and I'd be confident in doing a high speed maneuver if I had to um, in the Outback. Now, I personally really enjoy driving the XT versions of this because it's got plenty of get up as you'll see right here. Quite a bit more get up than you get with the two and a half liter naturally aspirated boxer four cylinder. And if it were me and I was in the market for an Outback, let's say for a family member, I would, and I was purchasing it, I would get the XT. The only reason is I personally, if I was gonna be driving it, want the additional power. Um, I think this thing's got, you know, let's say this is the right amount of power this thing's got more than the right amount of power so i like that kind of stuff because when you're doing high speed stuff i do a lot of highway driving you really kind of want that power at higher speed so you can pass somebody if they're not going as fast as you would like to be going um, and then also you know merging into traffic i personally like to just have extra power when it's offered when it's available um, so that's just me you know i know there are a lot of people out there who don't feel the same way they just want something that's going to get them from point a to point b efficiently and that is where and they don't care about power that is where you would get something that 
um, you know, doesn't make as much power as this, but you can see with the auto stop start system, it's counting how long it's been off for, how much fuel it has saved. And then that is a part of the Subaru EyeSight suite of features. When the vehicle ahead of you has moved, you get a little auditory beep and it also lets you know vehicle ahead has moved. So if you're sitting at a traffic light on your phone, you know, your, your car's got you, you know, your car's got your back. So you're not gonna get honked at. You still might get honked at, but it's going to prevent, you know, maybe a couple honkings over the course of the lifetime of the vehicle. So. Anyways, you know, this thing cruises very smoothly and it's an Outback, you know what I'm saying? You know, these things are, honestly, I never had the respect for the Outbacks until I started driving them. And then, you know, they started to grow on me. I like the way that they look. I like the way that they drive. And with the XT, you get the right amount of power. Um, so I can't say enough good things about the XT engine. But now take a listen to what this thing sounds like cruising at about 52, 55 miles an hour going over some bridge joints. So you can see it is very well insulated from the outside world when it comes to the road noise, the wind noise, etc. So I wanted to get into like the Onyx Edition XT versus a couple of the other top trim levels. I believe there is the Touring above this. I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100% sure, but I, the Touring is basically nicer. It gives you the Napa leather interior as well as, you know, a few other options. Um, whereas with the Onyx Edition XT, you get the StarTex water repellent upholstery. It is not leather. Um, and, you know, in the summertime, if you sweat, you you know, you might be getting a wet back when you get out of this thing because, you know, it's not leather. You know, you're not going to get the ventilated seats where with the Touring, you are going to get the ventilated seats. You get the Napa leather, but it doesn't matter, you know, with the StarTex or with the leather you still probably gonna have sweaty back you know it's just maybe it's just me maybe I'm just a weird human but I know that does happen with a lot of other people in the StarTex upholstery you will notice that if it is hot and humid same thing with leather except with you know the touring the touring XT you're gonna get those ventilated front seats so that aids with not having a sweaty back so anyways here's a little just normal acceleration You know, this thing does have a CVT, but this is one of the better CVTs that I've tested on the market compared to like, let's say Nissan, for example. I personally like the um, Subaru's CVT. You can tell a difference between the two. You know, the Nissan one sounds like it's gonna break um, and it doesn't mean it will. You know, if I've, my family's had good experiences with the Nissan CVTs, never had a failure, but um, with the new ones, the Xtronic ones, you can kind of hear like almost like chain slap. But anyways, this thing, really nice, really comfortable. It gives you all the features that you want. Yes, it's not gonna give you leather or Napa leather, but it is gonna get you the StarTex upholstery. So if you have a dog and you go hiking with your dog, your dog gets wet, it's not gonna be that big of an issue if you put your dog in any of the seats because all you gotta do is take like a wet washcloth and wipe it right off and it's gonna come right out. And that is what's good about the water repellent upholstery is, you know, for the adventurous people who, you know, go out, they get muddy. You don't gotta worry about getting your leather seats muddy. You don't have to worry about getting your cloth seats muddy. The StarTex upholstery, you just wipe it right off. So that is the, that's a pro to the StarTex upholstery. But other than that, the infotainment system is easy to use. I highly recommend if you're looking at an Outback or any sort of Subaru product, you get the Harman Kardon sound system. I like listening to music in my vehicle and the uh, Harman Kardon sound system makes a massive, massive difference between the standard sound system in my personal opinion. So just to summarize this thing off, it's got the get up, which I'll show you right here. I'm basically just gonna floor it once I get straightened out. So now I'm just gonna floor it. So as you can see, you know, it takes like about a second. So once I floored it, it took about a second for it to react. But once it reacts, it really truly does throw you into your seat and it just goes. Like this thing has a very respectable amount of power. I don't feel like this is underpowered at all, especially with the XT engine. If you don't get the XT engine, 
it might be a little underpowered. By the way, with the Onyx Edition XT, they also do offer the Onyx Edition, which just has the naturally aspirated engine. But that's it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. I'm on my journey to 100,000 subscribers and I cannot reach my goal without your support. So if you like the video, if you enjoyed the video, please just take a second to like, comment, and subscribe. That gets me one clo step closer to my dreams. So I would greatly appreciate it. But again, that is it for today's video. I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.